Welcome guys, another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some balloon deck and not a Roboloon, which kinda is probably the fan favorite or fan hated by fans depending on which side uh, of this deck are you currently on. Uh, I'm gonna be playing with Balloon Cycle and since my opponent is not doing anything, uh, Jadir BR by the way, so far at zero medals, I'm gonna take the initiative and just go for the Balloon. I don't think this deck is too complicated, it has only one like extra card which is usually not used with a Balloon and it's Lightning. And I've put a Lightning because there are just like <coughs> many threats to a Balloon which can be easily eliminated by Lightning. I I believe I stole the deck from a top player, but it was like very long time ago, so I don't really even remember the source. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, the Viking Tower already dropped, so my opponent was kind of fluke, and we're gonna just go for the another game. And there we go for the game number two. We're gonna be having a, uh, if I recall correctly, it's a uh, Russian symbol. So yeah. Uh, uh, with that out of the mind, uh, I mean, I'm gonna be playing uh, against a very weird uh, deck so far. I don't know, know if I want to elaborate on that. I would love to get a gunner on this uh, phone, uh, on this bomb girl, and I do. And I'm gonna actually get a balloon to the tower, which is gonna be very positive. My opponent doesn't have resources. To stop that, I'm gonna have resources to stop that drunker by kiting to the opposite lane with the Explorer. So that's gonna be a very cool start to the game number two. And so far, I still don't know my opponent's win push. Like, so he has to take my tower some way, and if he doesn't, like, well, that's the whole objective of the game to take the tower. So I would love to get to know that. So uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna just cycle cards. Maybe he has already some devious plan prepared against me here. In fact, has a devious plan. He has a three gunners, and I have lightning. And uh, I think I'm gonna just play it. There's no point in waiting right now. He obviously forced a very, uh, very cool uh, uh, gunner in the back uh, from me, which was bad for me because I would love to just go for a explore and plus balloon combo or digger plus balloon combo or pretty much anything plus balloon, just to create some pressure for some responses and. Uh, as a bonus deal some damage, so my opponent will be playing 3 gunners, which is uh, not the deck I've expected from this game, but at the same time like, well, what do you really expect from player who has 20 mil? This drunker will get a hit, I don't really mind it, uh, he gets uh, 2 madness spells on the board, I'm gonna actually play bullets on this bomb girl, usually I wouldn't do that because it's nicer to have a um, troop on the board. But in this case, I don't think there was a better play. He's actually a very aggressive right now with spells. He gets my gunner, unfortunately, I want to uh, keep her alive. I'm gonna play another gunner here. Uh, his uh, footman will be taken care of. I'm gonna get a very good bullets value here. Uh, this uh, drunker will be gone before reaching the tower. Very cool to see. I'm gonna play explore and then I'm gonna play balloon as soon as I have mana for this lightning so my balloon doesn't get damaged too much. Yeah. I was anticipating that play fortunately and we get away with this. He's gonna get a very nice prediction uh, foot one cack. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be probably the conclusion of the, of the game. I wonder if I can cycle back to a lightning to get another Tower, and I do. Okay, that's gonna be two down, one to go, but the time is uh, time run out. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number two. Very well played out of my opponent. Obviously, it's kind of suboptimal deck. He didn't have too many air responses, and that's why balloon got a lot of value. Let's jump to the game number three right now. And here we go. We're gonna be facing this time Bing Chilling with uh, almost 300 medals. He's gonna start with a brute this time. I'm gonna play Falls on the opposite side without knowing he's gonna be going for a brute, so it's kind of uh, excusable. At the same time, I kind of want to respond with a bomb tower against the skeleton horde, and the bomb tower will help out uh, by defending this brute. I don't. I believe he actually was playing a balloon, and if he does. Uh, I'm in a bit of trouble, but then he places a balloon on the absolutely uh, 
uh, some optimal square, so that's gonna be good for me. And I think I'm gonna actually stop this almost flawlessly, just taking a, a balloon death drop to the face. That was a very nice defense, and if he did play balloon correctly on the uh, uh, most uh, outside uh, place, like here or here, this would have been a very tough defense for me. And in fact, let's just do the exact uh, thing that I was talking about uh, to him playing the balloon on the uh, outside uh, space. I'm gonna actually ignore the super devil. I don't really mind uh, getting a hit and I didn't like necessarily needed to get more. I'm gonna get a gunner first. Then I'm gonna like uh, just uh, adjust uh, my bomb tower placements uh, depending on how he's gonna play balloon. He's playing freeze, which is, which is weird for sure. And I think I'm gonna actually go with this gunner and balloon. I could have gone uh, for the uh, tower where I already have damage, but at the same time I have gunner here, so I kind of want to capitalize on her. She's gonna get rid of the cannon, and I was definitely the good choice. Actually, I'm gonna no, ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna like him here. I would have secured the tower if I did, but. Uh, I would have been very vulnerable and he could have done the same to me, so it's better not to risk it. I'm gonna play Digger here. Nothing to commit to so far. He should be playing a Brute in the back or here. That's also working for me. I'm gonna play Bullets here. Since there's no better target, I'm gonna play just Bullets on his Stone Phones every time they appear on the board. I'm gonna get my Phones going. I'm gonna play Bomb Tower on, with a very far kite. I would love to get this brute before he gets a freeze down. And there we go. We're gonna play another gunner just to secure the protection of two layer of two lanes. And yeah, I'm gonna actually go for the stronger tower just to uh, just because I can take the left side tower anytime I want. I'm gonna play bullets anytime. I see stone phones like I've said. He plays another brute, which is obviously not the way. He should be playing brutes uh, at the bridge to force. Uh, me to react to that immediately and as well uh, to kind of uh, like uh, like force me to defend and uh, uh, make me have less mana for this defense so a uh, pretty suboptimal here we get two as well against being chilling and we're gonna go for the fourth game on this video right after that and next game will be against user 3 4 8 6 0 8 I'm still kind of learning how to pronounce these uh, numerals in English fluently. Obviously, I can do this by myself, but it's kind of not natural for me. I'm gonna play phones uh, on these support cards to kind of mitigate the damage. I'm gonna get a lot of damage from a balloon, actually. I would love to get a bullets here because uh, balloon death drop and bullets kill the uh, troops like Piercing Archer and Necromancer. That's another piece of knowledge that you've gotten from watching my videos and if you want more uh, consider subscribing J just the same I'm gonna play gunner here I'm gonna play explore to kite uh, as much of the skeleton horde as it's possible as well as I want to just save this explorer to get the balloon going and basically pressure him to take the tower he's gonna play archers uh, for which I'm gonna definitely uh, keep bullets I think the bullets were a bit late, I could have not played these phones, but it turned out to be fine. I'm gonna basically take the star down, it's 16 HP, so pretty much any time I want I can just play bullets on it and it's gonna be gone. But so far, let's uh, just not overcommit on that, uh, also I have a digger, I kinda forgot about that one. Okay, so let's just chill a bit, uh, let us load some mana. I'm gonna play Gunner here and he plays Dark Knight, so uh, against the Dark Knight I'm gonna play uh, this Explorer. I'm gonna actually play a Bomb Tower, but I was late. I was late, so this Super Ape will get 3 hits. And that was very bad of me. <laughs> Sorry for that play, but uh, I kinda was figuring out how to deal with these two threats and I didn't come up with a solution. Also, phones uh, just by mistake take this tower down, I'm gonna play bullets on the archers and it's usually not a good practice to sit uh, at the lower uh, end of mana, but if you're pressuring it's okay because your opponent usually has to respond to your threats, so you are not like uh, endangered uh, by uh, like go getting absolutely butchered right after, he's gonna actually get a very uh, nice attack brewing here. Uh, 
His piercing archer was uh, going back uh, for this boon and it's kinda uh, finally got kited. Uh, then I broke this kite with phones. Sometimes it happens, it's kinda my bad. I should have la just uh, left this kite because it was very funny and uh, that's why I got the defense and I got the offense at the same time and GG's well played. Let's jump to game number five of today's video. And the last game of this day's video will be against 12 Ruben 08, which uh, I can only guess is kind of signifying his date of birth or, or year of birth. You can pretty much only guess at this point, but yeah, th those are my predictions. People usually put dates in their nicknames because why not? Let's just honor the day when I was born. I'm not saying that's weird. I'm just saying that many people do that, so it's a... Uh, worth uh, to state effect. He's gonna play double archers here, which is uh, not even a bad play considering the fact that I wasted bullets into nothingness. And right now these archers will actually clean up my explorer and will remain a valid threat uh, because yeah, here I have one less phone, two less phones just because of the archers surviving. So yeah, very cool play by him honestly. I'm gonna play another bullets uh, on his phone keg get my digger to get, get some damage and he's gonna respawn with a bomb girl which is well which is bomb girl it's gonna eventually come to the bridge and until that I don't feel like playing anything I'm gonna play bomb tower here actually just to stop the threats unfortunately bomb tower won't be in range so he kinda wasted a lot of my mana here I was kinda leaking then I had to play 8 uh, at the bridge to stop all his threats and yeah I all in all I think he just got away with a crime here because I was ready to just slap the balloon on his uh, face and pretty much uh, grant him in a swift death but yeah he kinda dodges the bullet but not for long because right now I'm just going in and he definitely wants to uh, uh, respond if he wants to save his tower and even though I'm getting like the uh, wet dream of bullet player getting four archers with one bullet and yeah that's gonna be a tower down there's no way he's stopping it uh, bomb girl won't gonna cut it I'm gonna get a phones against these bomb blasters he gets he gives a good game already uh, bomb girl also on one HP I would love uh, these phones to get her but I know this interaction is not gonna happen this time I'm gonna He's gonna be playing actually some phone kegs. Uh, I'm not uh, worried about that because my Viking Tower obviously will clean it up. I'm gonna just focus on the offense and try to get a 3 star uh, in this last game. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode because I believe my opponent just gave up. If you enjoyed this type of content and want to see more decks, more gameplay and more basically anything that I can produce on this channel, make sure to leave down the comment and if you want to stay notified, and don't miss any of my uploads, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because uh, it's the best way to support my channel so far. It's free and you don't want to miss my uploads in the future. So yeah, thank you for watching till the end. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.